as we continue looking at some examples, want to help you with some uh, um, properties of fractions and whatnot. In this class, we're going to start to become uh, used to working with fractions. And to make our work a little bit easier, we like to have fractions in their in a particular form. Um, right now I have a number that's three and four fifths. Well, that number works great if you're measuring a piece of wood. Well, or if you're measuring some type of a component that is three feet and four fifths long, or it's three and four fifths full, that's a great way to visualize what's going on. But to help us do our work, it's usually better to turn it into an improper fraction. So how do you turn this mixed number into an improper fraction? Well, the idea is, is you multiply five times three, the bottom times the top, five times the three, then add the four and put that all over five. So five times three is 15, 15 plus four is 19, all over fifths. So 19 fifths is equivalent to three and four fifths. Those are the same. One's just written in mixed number form, one's written as an improper fraction. And typically, we like to have them in improper fractions. Well, if you're given a problem that's in an improper fraction, for example, um, 42 fifths, How do I write that as a mixed number? Well, basically you're trying to find out is how many whole parts of 5 are in 42. So I'm going to divide 5 into 42. And that goes in there 8 times. So I have 8. And I have 2 fifths, 2 remainder of the 5 parts left over. So 42 fifths is the same thing as 8 and 2 fifths. Again, same number, just written in two different forms. And we're going to learn how to work with numbers in, in proper form as we continue to move on.